Helping friends. And finally, after many dangerous adventures and a close call with Mountain Lion, we reached the top of the mountain. Amazing! Very amazing! I can just imagine being up so high. I bet you can see everything from the top of a mountain. I wish we could climb a mountain. Socks, I think this calls for a trip to the costume box. Me too! <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> this mountain has never been climbed before. It looks very high. It is. It looks very dangerous. It is. We'll have to be careful. Oh. Oh, there's one more thing. We have to watch out for wild mountain lions. Remember. Oh. They aren't pets. Okay. okay. Come on. Let's start from this side. <laughs> <laughs> Careful, it's a big step. Come on, Paisley. Okay. Oh, we're pretty high. We'll have to be careful here. This is a very narrow step. We wouldn't want to fall. I'll go first. Socks? You hold on to the end of my rope, in case I slip. Okay. I'll hold on, too. <laughs> Made it. Okay, Socks, you're next. <laughs> Phew. Made it. Okay. Your turn, Paisley. Here. Oh, no! I think I'm going to fall! Uh, uh, oh, thanks, Socks. You saved me. You're welcome. Is everybody okay? Okay. Good. Let's keep climbing. <laughs> Don't move. What's wrong? Is there a problem? Mountain lion, be very quiet. <laughs> Hello, everybody. What are you doing? We're climbing this mountain, and you're a fierce wild mountain lion. I am, am I? <clears throat> there are climbers on my mountain. <sighs> They're around here somewhere. They're being very quiet, though. Hmm, I can't see anyone. I guess I'll go back to my mountain lair. Phew! That was a close call. Come on, team. Watch out for the crevice. It's a long way down. Oh, it's a very long way down. <laughs> Come on, Paisley. Oh, I don't want to fall. I'm going another way. Uh, made it. Uh, I can see the top of the mountain. But it's very steep. Uh, I think we're going to have to crawl up. Paisley, why don't you go first? It was your idea to climb the mountain. You should be the first to the top. Oh, okay. 
Wait right here. Uh. So far, so good. Uh. 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 One more step. Almost there. Uh. I made it! Yay! Throw us the rope! Look out below. Got it! Each other and we climbed it together. What are we going to call this mountain? Since we're the first to climb it, and it was Paisley's idea, I think we should call it Paisley Mountain. Paisley Yay! Mountain! Yay! Paisley Yay! Mountain! Elliot, 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 Hoist Elliot, the Jolly Elliot, 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 I feel an adventure Elliot, Elliot, coming on. Elliot, 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 Socks. Today is the kind of day. Oops. As I was saying, today is. Excuse me. Today is the kind of day. I think I drank my juice too fast. They're gone. What were you saying? I was saying that today is the kind of day that something wonderful happens. I just know it. <gasps> Captain, look. Help! <gasps> Did you hear something? It sounded like someone said help. Help! Someone did say help. Pirate Paisley. Who lives in this part of the sea? Some people say the Queen of the Waves lives around here. Whoever it is, someone needs our help. First made socks. There isn't a moment to lose. <laughs> this way. Help! We'll save you. We'll save you, um... Amy, Queen of the Waves. It's an honor to meet you, Your Majesty. I'm Captain Elliot Moosebeard, and this is First Mate Socks. Your Majesty? Captain? First Mate? A wicked sea dragon blew this magic air bubble and captured me. Why? It always wanted to rule the ocean instead of me. And now it can. Why don't you just break the bubble? It's a magic bubble. It can only be broken from outside. If you're inside, you're trapped. I didn't think sea dragons were real. <laughs> Uh-oh. It's him. Amazing. Well, well. Who might this be? Hmm? This is the brave Captain Elliot Moosebeard and First Mate Socks. They've come to rescue me. Oh, have they indeed? We'll see about that. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> and now, Captain Moosebeard, time to take you prisoner, too. <laughs> wait, wait just one moment. I beg your pardon? Why rule just the ocean, Almighty oh Dragon? What did you just say? Almighty oh Dragon, I said, why rule just the ocean? Because you could rule the land as well. I could rule the land? You could. But how? It is simple, Almighty oh Dragon. Quickly drink the ocean dry. Then everything will be land, and you will be its ruler. Drink the ocean dry? Ha! Ah, no one could drink the ocean dry. Ah, I see I was mistaken. I thought you were a mighty sea dragon, the mightiest of them all. But you are really just a very ordinary one. Very well. Blow your bubble. Uh, wait. Now, do you mean that if I drank the ocean, people would believe I was a mighty dragon? They'd believe you were the mightiest, mighty dragon 
ever. Then that is exactly what I will do. Oh, I, I think I've given myself the uh, hiccups. Uh, oh no! Uh, help! Help! Uh, I hope that mean sea dragon has learned its lesson. Queen Amy, I don't think the dragon will ever bother you again. You're free! Hooray! Captain Moosebeard, First Mate Socks, I could never thank you enough. What treasure can I give you as a reward? You don't have to give us anything, Queen Amy. We're happy to have helped you. But you'd better keep an eye out for the sea dragon. You're right, Pirate Paisley. We'd all better keep an eye out for them. Help! Help! And we'd better keep an ear out for them, too. <laughs> I'm Elliot Moose. This is Dr. Soxon. This is my favorite time of day. Time to get everything ready at the playground. There we go. One step, two step, three step, four. Time to clean the slide once more. Whee! And now to clean the animals. The cat, the zebra, the bunny. Huh? That's funny. No bunny. Hmm, this is a mystery. And there's only one person to call when there's a mystery. Elliot Moose, country detective. I'm Elliot Moose. This is Dr. Soxon. Do you know where we might find Lionel? Sure do. He's in the playground. Thank you, Mr... McBeaverton. Lionel lets me live in that cottage in return for sprucing up the playground. Well, thank you, Mr. McBeaverton. We'll see you later. <laughs> And that's what happened. I called you as soon as I realized the bunny ride was gone. Hmm. This is a very unusual case. Lionel, perhaps you could do exactly what you did this morning. I'll look for clues. One step, two step, three step, four. Time to clean the slide once more. Whee! <laughs> and now to clean the animals. The monkey. <laughs> The moose? Uh, <gasps> Elliot! Uh, Dr. Soxon! What are you doing here? We're in disguise. We hoped we could surprise whoever took your bunny ride. But where's my zebra ride? It's supposed to be right here. Another mystery! Yes. This is a very strange thief. I noticed that two of your animal rides, the hippo and the dog, have been painted so they look like new. But the thief has taken the zebra, which looked much older, and the bunny, which I assume also looked old. Yes, it did. Uh, Mr. McBeaverton hasn't had time to paint them. What kind of thief wants old beat-up toys? Dr. Soxon, that's exactly what we're going to find out. Huh? We'd better get inside. It's going to rain. Dr. Soxon and I will wait in our truck, just in case the thief shows up again. Listen to the rhythm of the falling rain. <sighs> it makes me feel sleepy. Me too. But we must catch this thief. And we will. As soon as I have a little nap. <sighs> yes. A little... Soxon, wake up! What is it? Look! Not another one! What kind of thing would leave a trail like that? Don't tell me the thief took another ride. Lionel, don't worry. I've solved the playground puzzle. You have? 
All we have to do is follow this trail. Mr. McBeaverton? But these aren't his tracks. The paw prints could be his. But what about that curvy middle line? He'd walk in a straight line. Unless he was pushing a wheelbarrow with something heavy in it, then the wheel would make a line like this. Mr. McBeaverton? A thief? I'll have him arrested. I don't think you'll want to arrest him. I think you'll want to thank him. Come in! My animal rides. They look beautiful. I wanted to paint them before it rained, but there wasn't time. So I thought I'd paint them inside and then put them out when it was sunny again. Aha! Uh -huh. Mr. McBeaverton, I want to thank you very much. Elliot, Dr. Soxon, is there anything I can do to thank you for solving this mystery? Well, yes. There is one thing. Just name it. Please stand back so we can ride the animals. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, good. Here it is. Ah, hmm. Aha. An acorn. Ah. Oh. There we go. And my ball. Uh-huh. Hi, Elliot! Hi, Socks. What are you doing? I'm going to go looking for new treasures for my treasure box. I'm bringing these along in case I have to trade. Want to come with me? Of course I do. Wait right here and count to five. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Here! Huh? It's a very, very special thimble. It's the only one like it in the whole world. You can have it for your treasure box. Amazing. Thank you, Socks. <laughs> I knew this was going to be the perfect day for collecting treasures. Elliot, look at this. Oh. <laughs> Perfect. Where did you find it? Right here. Did you find anything? A few acorns, but I've got lots of those. What's that? Aha! Amazing! Another thimble! Just like the one you gave me. I can't believe it. Now you've got two of them. Those are real treasures. This could be the best treasure day ever. Could be. Let's go look over here. <laughs> Hi, Beaverton. Mm. I'm looking for treasures. Oh. And guess what? Socks gave me a very rare and special thimble. <gasps> then I found another one in the garden. Merciful maple chips, how extraordinary. Mm -hmm. Elliot, look at this. A leaf that's all red. A maple leaf. I've never seen one like that before. Thanks, Socks. You're finding great treasures. You're welcome. When you're done looking outside, come by my workshop. There might be something there for you. Thanks, Beaverton. Yes, thanks. <laughs> Elliot! Yes? What's this? Another thimble! <gasps> amazing! Very amazing. This is just like the other ones I was telling you about, Beaverton. It's certainly your lucky day. <laughs> it sure is. Now I've got one, two, three thimbles. Let's go look inside. Maybe we'll find some more. Bye, Beaverton. Bye. Bye. Good luck. <laughs> My book. <laughs> Hi, Lionel. I'm looking for treasures. Want to trade anything? Treasures, hmm? Mm-hmm. No, uh, but I do have something you might like. This gold braid is left over from fixing my uniform. Another amazing treasure! Thank you! <laughs> this must be the greatest treasure day you've ever had! 
I think so. I'm going to look at everything I've got. Okay. <laughs> uh, Elliot. Huh? huh? Here's something you might want for your treasure box. Another <gasps> thimble! This is incredible! This is unbelievable! And it's pretty amazing, too! Four rare and special thimbles in one day? Lionel, come look at this! Hmm, all right then. <laughs> Beaverton, come and look at Elliot's treasures! Oh, okay! <laughs> Look, here's the ball we found, and Lionel's gold braid, and the beautiful maple leaf, and the thimble, and the rest of the thimbles are in here. Uh, uh huh? Where did they go? Oh, oh, look, there's a hole in the bag. No wonder you kept finding thimbles that looked like the one I gave you. We've been finding the same thimble all day. It kept falling out of my bag. <laughs> <laughs> if you give me the bag, I'd be happy to mend it for you. Thanks, Beaverton. I found some amazing treasures for my treasure box. But having good friends like all of you is the real treasure. Oh. <laughs> what a great treasure. Remember, friends help friends. See you next time. Woohoo!